Hey guys, Apple G here with a real quick gameplay video. I'm going to try and play through an entire game as Doomfist here in quick play and um, give you some of my thoughts. Uh, hopefully, this game actually starts as I see people are leaving as they can't get Doomfist. Um, but anyway, so um, I've had a chance to play with him a little bit this morning. Uh, we got to do some myth busting, which I'll, uh, I'm actually going to let my friend Toto D um, edit together her MythBuster Only video, which I'll link to uh, as soon as it's available. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick video, give you my thoughts on this character, time, uh, give you some ideas sure on how his abilities failure. work, and all of that good stuff. So before I start, let me get us out of team chat here. Um, so, first things first, his abilities. So, um... The main one is his primary fire. So as people are staring at my new character, um, so I, when you left click, you will fire this um, this kind of light shotgun. It only shoots out one, two, three, four, five, six shots out of it. So, um, and if all six connect with no headshot, I think it's like 75 damage, something like that. But it's got like a reaper range to it. So you gotta be relatively close. His second ability is his uh, charging fist. So if you hold down your right click, it'll charge this fist up and you can slam into people. Um, so I have some theories on some uh, things that might work, although we have no healers, so that's cool. Uh, so this might be... Alright, so... Alright, so... Um, his charging fist ability is interesting. It can actually cancel a lot of ults. Um, a fully charged fist will break a Junkrat trap. Um, if you only, like, lightly tap it like this, you will get trapped in his trap, though. So just keep that in mind. Um, now, if um, his left shift um, ability is his uppercut. So let me see if I can show that off here. And I just killed myself with that. So, um, something about this character. He feels a lot like a Genji. He's very squishy. He's pretty easy to kill, I find. I'm not um, and he just packs a little bit more punch than Genji. Um, but he's not nearly as mobile as Genji either. So that's there's that going on too. Well, let's see if we can get on the point here. There we go. Punched him. Let's see if we can kill this Mercy. And no. Okay. So, yeah, he's um, an interesting character, to say the least. Um, a thought with a proper competition, like, comp. So with, like, you know, a tank or two, a couple healers. Um, where I see him fitting in, I don't know that he's going to be able to flank a lot. Um, he doesn't have... Um, the way I see him working is like this. So let me... Let me show you what I think he might be able to do. So imagine I have some tanks here. What I could see myself doing is something like this. So I will charge in and I, so I will charge in, do this, and then do that back. So kind of like a triple combo to poke in, disrupt the enemy team, and then jump back out. So kind of like a Winston almost in that regard. And so it's a very glitchy right now. So very, very glitchy. Um, I'm trying to hold the right click down, but it's just immediately launching his fist. So there's that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my thought on this character is that he's probably... Um, he's probably going to be a poke type character. It's his main advantage. So charge in with this and then jump back and come back like that. Some Something along those lines is what I'm thinking. 
he's gonna be like. Um, again, we don't have much of a proper comp, so I apologize that this gameplay is probably not the greatest. The enemy team has a much better comp, and it's glitching out on my right click, which is really annoying. That works. There we go, guys. So it looks like we won this one. I think. Yep. So, there you go, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, I know it was a little short. Uh, that <laughs> was a lot faster of a game than I expected. Um, I will jump out of here and go to the main screen here and I will just kind of briefly touch on how I feel about this character. I'll bring him up in the hero gallery too, why not? Alright, so, uh, Doomfist. Here we are. Um, cool guy. Um, unfortunately not um, being voiced by Terry Crews like everyone thought he was going to be, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, so he feels kind of like a Genji. I mean, he actually kind of looks like he looks like an African monk with these like pants and this uh, cloth on. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, he is um, definitely a very mobile uh, DPS. Um, he needs to get up close and personal to do his thing. Um, all of his abilities feel legitimate. They don't feel like how with Reaper's teleport ability that... It, it's pointless for anything. Um, all of his abilities seem to have a very legitimate, um, good feel about them. So Blizzard did a really good job with that. They didn't make his, any part of his kit feel useless to him. Um, he's very squishy, however, and um, he has no way of self-healing. Uh, he has no shields, no armor, nothing like that. So uh, it feels extremely squishy. Um, if he get, lands a really good punch, though, um, his punch will literally hit the player, boop them back, and if they boop into a wall or a solid object, it will do massive amounts of damage to them. The punch itself will only do 100 damage. Hitting the wall will... I don't know what the exact number is. We didn't test it on a big tank. But I want to say it's at least 100 because we would kill 200 HP heroes with it might be more than that um so very powerful um can be kind of difficult to land the punch though to be honest um it will bust through any barrier it will charge it's like a reinhardt charge it will charge through reinhardt shield orissa shield winston's bubble um it'll i believe it'll still knock back azaria um it'll charge her up but it'll knock her back i want to say um and it will cancel ults. So literally we went through the list. Let me see. So it will not cancel Bastions. Um, an interesting fact is with D.Va's ult, um, he cannot physically move her mech. So unlike Roadhog who can hook D.Va's ult or like uh, Reinhardt who can charge D.Va's ult away from, the, or away from your team, you charge into hers, you try and uppercut it, it is stationary. It will not move. So Doomfist will not move D.Va's ult unless they decide to change it before it goes into the live server. Um, it will cancel um, McCree's ult. So if you punch McCree, uh, if you somehow are able to get close enough to McCree to punch him um, with your right click, it will cancel his ult and he will no longer have High Noon going. Um, the Let's see. Farah, uh, another one that will cancel, although... You would have to be a really good shot because you literally would have to uppercut up into the sky and then hit her with it because his right click will only go horizontally on the that plane of axis. So it will not, you can't aim up with it and then like you're, you won't shoot up into the air with your fist, unfortunately. Um, it will cancel a Reaper ult, which is amazing. I uh, literally punched Reaper into a wall um, literally killing him but if you don't punch him into a wall it'll still cancel his ult um it will uh bust into a reinhardt charging reinhardt so if you punch a reinhardt with this it'll stop his charge 
Um, it'll do a little bit of damage to you, but it'll do quite a lot of damage to him. Um, it will cancel a Roadhog ult. So if Roadhog is doing his thing and you punch him, cancels it. Um, it will not cancel a Soldier Visor. Um, it will not cancel a Torb um, Molten Core. Uh, you can get out of a Tracer Bomb. If you get stuck with a Tracer Bomb, you can hit your Q, which is your ultimate, um, which launches your character into the sky. You'll literally disappear. So if you have a Tracer Bomb stuck to you and you use your Q, you will not die. It'll just blow up somewhere and you will be unaffected by it. It's pretty amazing. Widowmaker cannot see you even with her wall hacks. So if you ult and she turns your wall hacks on, she will not see you in the sky. Um, will not cancel a Winston ult. Um, will not, you can get out of Azaria bubble or Azaria graviton with uh, a couple of his abilities. Main one, right click, if you uh, hold it down long enough, you will charge your way out of Azaria Bubble or out of Azaria Graviton Surge. Um, and if you are elevated, so let's say um, she throws her ult on the side of a building and you get pulled up a couple feet off the ground, your E ability will also allow you to get out of her Graviton. Um, so, pretty awesome and amazing stuff right there, guys. It won't cancel a Genji ult, too, forgot to mention that. You can, you can punch him in the face, uh, do a bunch of damage to him, but you will not, unfortunately, stop his ult. He will still be Genji blading. Um, so those are some really cool things there. Um, there are literally no skins for him um, right now. They're just, literally, they're just trying to test the character out. I'm excited to see what his skins will be. He is a very, very cool character. Um, He's a lot of what I expected he would be. I think people thought he might have been a tank, but since Orisa was a tank, there was no way they were going to come out with another tank. Um, I think Overwatch really needs another healer, though, to be honest. Only having four healers is kind of rough. Um, five, if you consider Sombra a healer, uh, since she kind of is with her health packs. Um, <clears throat> no emotes except for this one. So he just does his little heroic like stance there. Um, no victory poses. Try uh, me. He has one voice line. He has no uh, sprays currently, and that's his highlight intro. So nothing, nothing crazy there. And you'll notice his weapon is already very gold, and it doesn't get a whole lot more gold when you get the golden weapon. So let me show you. So there it is. So basically all it does is it gives it that sheen, that sparkle that this one doesn't have. And it paints all of these little parts here gold as well. Um, but that's about it. And I guess his little uh, shotgun hand gets shinier as well. So a little unimpressive, but I think he's going to get some really cool looking uh, skins, I would imagine, when he comes out live. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, let's pull up the hero info here. I'll just quickly go through it. Um, so again, his hand cannon, his, his primary fire is literally just a six shot, uh, or a, a four shot shotgun and each shotgun shell has six shot in it. Um, does a decent amount of damage if you're up close and personal. Um, and it can headshot. Meteor strike is his ultimate. He literally leaps into the air, disappears off the map for your, your opponents and you cannot be targeted or anything like that. It's a great way to escape. So if um, if you are um, trying to get away from an, uh, let's say a Nano Genji or a Nano Visor or something like that, and you don't mind almost feeling like you're gonna waste your Q, pop your Q, you'll jump into the air, become untargetable, and then you can drop down on an unsuspecting uh, victim with that. Uh, there is a delay between when you select your target and when you actually hit the ground. And when you select your target, the enemy team will see that reticle uh, on the ground. So keep that in mind. Um, I wouldn't target a mobile character like a Tracer or a Genji or a Winston. Anyone who can quickly jump out of the way, I wouldn't target them. I'd probably target the squishies, so um, probably the Zenyatas, the Annas, um, maybe even a soldier with his sprint ability, he might be able to get out of it. Um, but uh, Reinhardt would probably be good. 
Now, do keep in mind if you're not nanoed, um, your meteor strike, a head-on collision with your meteor strike, will only do about 300 damage. So um, you will not outright kill tanks with it. It's again, it's more for squishies or to just kind of disrupt the enemy team, weaken them, and so your other DPS or your other tanks can go in and clean up. His seismic slam. His seismic slam is a um, it's the best way I can describe it. It's like the Hulk when he comes down with his fist like that. Um, essentially, anytime you're um, up in the air, uh, which you can use your uppercut for this, uh, you will slam down on a special area. It actually puts out like a uh, like a like a thing like this on the ground when you're in the air, and that's the area of effect of your seismic slam. Um, it slightly stuns people. It does a little bit of damage. I want to say it's more of a mobility thing than it is to actually try and hurt the enemy. Um, I wish it had more stun to it, but that might make him a little too OP. Um, Rising Uppercut, uh, basically he just goes um, Luke Cage style like that. You know, full on Mike Tyson. Uh, if there's somebody uh, in front of you, you will knock them clear up into the sky. Um, and you will float for some time. It almost feels, it feels a lot like Farah using her rockets um, when she's in the air. You literally float. Their gravity has less effect on you after you uh, use your rising uppercut, which is cool because it allows you to kind of aim, gives you some time to aim and try and hit somebody with either your seismic slam or if you're feeling really gutsy, you can try and rocket punch at someone uh, in midair as well. Um, and again, Rocket Punch, I think this is his absolute most killer ability. Um, you hold down that right click, it'll charge up, you'll launch about 30 meters forward, um, you'll hit somebody, and if you do make contact with somebody, you'll launch them about 20, I want to say it's about 20 to 30 meters is what it seemed like when I was hitting people with it. You hit them about 20 meters back, and if you hit them into a solid object, it does massive amount of damage. The punch itself only does 100. I don't know what the slam into the wall is. I didn't calculate that. I should have done that when I was playing with him earlier. And lastly, but not leastly, uh, we have his passive ability. So um, every time you hit somebody with his fist, so essentially every ability he has that isn't his hand cannon uh, will charge up a shield on him. So um, the shield feels a little bit like Lucio's shield. So Lucio gives like a real quick, huge burst of shield on everyone when he does a sound barrier. It feels like that, but much less. Um, and it degrades quite quickly. So it isn't going to last for a really long time. Uh, but the more people you hit, the more it charges up, which is pretty awesome. You can get his health up pretty high with that. Um, and his Meteor Strike will charge it up a ton, so which is kind of nice. Meteor Strike can be one of those great ways of engaging a point or attacking a choke. Uh, you just slam down in there. You have a, If you hit, make contact with some people, you will gain a lot of shield. And uh, hopefully you'll have enough to be able to get out of there before somebody kills you. Because again, Doomfist is a very squishy character. At least I felt like he was pretty easy to kill. Um, I didn't survivability is tough with him um, and for me what I'm seeing as gonna probably be the main uh, awesome thing that he can do that'll charge up his ult that will um, allow your team to push is he's gonna be a choke buster he's gonna be a tank buster he will um, he's basically gonna be an a10 warthog of overwatch so what I mean by that is um, and I don't know how he's going to fit into the dive comp. Um, he's very mobile, which the dive comp is very mobile. But I think he's stronger against slow characters. So um, let's say you have a classic battle going on in the choke. And it's like Reinhardt versus Reinhardt. And, you know, they're playing their little, their little chicken game, saying who's going to charge in, who's going to fire strike, things like that. You're going to stand behind that barrier. And when you get a good shot in on Reinhardt, you would charge up his um, rocket punch, punch right into Reinhardt, which would push him back, do a substantial amount of damage, and hopefully, by doing so, you would expose a good portion of the enemy team. Then, I would immediately do a rising uppercut, uh, hope that you maybe catch one of the squishies, one of the DPS, or maybe the other tank, 
uh, catch them in that, launch them up into the air. And while you're in the air, I would do a full 180 and seismic slam my way back behind my tanks. Um, I feel like that would make him a great engage, um, and that's a great combo. It, his cooldown is not very long. I want to say it's like five to six seconds for each of his abilities. And boom, slam in, knock back the tank in the front. Do an uppercut, maybe catch someone, maybe not. Do a 180 and seismic slam your way back. And hopefully the rest of your team will follow in behind and clean up and take out the squishies and then eventually take out the tank that will be pushed out of position. So that's my personal opinion on how I see Doomfist going, but this is Overwatch. And I mean, people never suspected Sombra was going to be a better healer than any of the other healers if your team knows how to use the health packs correctly um so who knows he might be used completely different from what i'm thinking but that's my thoughts um so yeah um with that guys i'm gonna call it on this video thank you thank you so much for checking it out if you enjoyed it please hit the like button if you didn't enjoy it please hit the dislike button and uh, let me know what i can do to improve it um again i hope you like my face cam as i look at my face sorry my green screen isn't working so well behind me i need to work on my lighting um and all of that good stuff and i hopefully my audio is coming in okay um and uh yeah and if you want to keep enjoying more of my content hit that subscribe button so you get notified of any future videos um and this has been apple jew with a very impromptu doomfist video um i hope you i hope you enjoyed it um and i will catch you guys on the next one and remember guys life's too short to be salty have a great one. Bye.